YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the fragrances that are gonna be on my August perfume tray. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the fragrances that made it to this month's tray, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so I'm very excited about this month's tray. I was really tempted to put a whole bunch of fragrances that were transitional type of fragrances. But you guys, I really can't fight with the weather outside. It is still triple digits here in Southern California. This tray is still very summer forward. Because of that, I put some of my fragrances that I really haven't had a chance to wear this summer on this tray. So these are some of my favorites that we're gonna talk about. So the first fragrance that we'll be adding to this month's tray is one that is an oldie but a goodie. And I can't believe it hasn't officially been on a tray yet this summer. And this is one by Tom Ford and this is Ode Soleil Blanc, and this is the toilet version. This is the one that I fell in love with first, and it just makes me feel like a luxurious, rich woman, you know, and I love that. Love when a fragrance can give you that type of effect, and I really don't have anywhere fancy that I'm going to this month. I wish I was going to somebody's yacht, but I'm not, <laughs> but when I do want that type of feeling, I'll be reaching for this one. This is a kind of like a coconutty tuberose fragrance. You also have a little bit of pistachio in here, but just overall, it smells like a luxurious getaway. So I had to put it on this month's tray. Once again, this is Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. Next, I'll be adding Mood Ring by Fleur. And this is just a fun, easy reach. It smells very sweet, like gummy bears in the opening. And I love that fun playfulness. Mm, and then in that dry down, it reminds me of the original Miss Dior Sherry because it has this like musky, somewhat slightly dirty type of dry down. So it's very juicy, fun, and fruity in the beginning. And then it dries down a little bit more mature. And I really do like that. And I recently finished the travel size of this. So I was really happy to pick up a full size bottle of this one. So I can't wait to get some use out of this and start building some memories with this full size bottle. So once again, this is Fleur's Mood Ring. I have been loving Fleur fragrances all summer. Another easy reach that I'll be adding to this month's tray is one that's slightly newer to my collection as well. This is the newest one from Rosie Jane and this is Missy. This is another tropical coconut pineapple fragrance that mm, just gives you all of the tropical, fruity, having fun in the sun type of summer vibes. And I think this is the first time that I'm actually going to be getting some use out of this bottle. It's just kind of been sitting in my collection since I got it and since I hauled it for you all. So I'm really excited to build memories with this one as well. Once again, this is Missy by Rosie Jane. Next, we'll be adding one of my favorite coconut fragrances. This actually might be my favorite coconut fragrance, you guys. And this is one by Kaoli, and this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. And y'all, okay, so when I got this fragrance, I think last year, I tucked it away because I did not want to fly through this one. Because as soon as I start using it, y'all, this became a very quick favorite of mine. And I really don't want to just run through this fragrance, but y'all, the mix of the vanilla, and then you have this like creamy coconut milk. Y'all, this is so good. It reminds you of like getting a tan in the sun, kind of like my skin right now, just very sun-kissed and just creamy and coconutty and just milky. Y'all, this is such a good coconut fragrance. So I'm really happy to put it back on this month's tray. And I'm probably going to be wearing this fragrance all throughout the entirety of the summer. Really excited about this one. So once again, this is Kay Alley's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Next, I'll be adding one from Kate Spade. You guys, I'm really excited about this one too, because I haven't really gotten that much use out of this one since I've had it in my collection since I think last year. And this is Sherry. Isn't that such a cute bottle? Looks like the, what is it? Cinderella or Snow White Red Apple. <laughs> Love that bottle. But you guys, if you like Angel Nova, to me, this one has a very similar scent DNA. It's not quite as strong, but the red currant in here and the berries in here give it a very similar type of vibe. And it's a fun, easy reach. So had to put it on this month's tray. Once again, this is Sherry by Kate Spade. Another tropical fruity fragrance that I couldn't wait to put on this month's tray is one by Parfums Marley. And this is 
Casilli. And to me, you guys, this one smells like a cream sickle. It is so creamy and ooh, smooth. And I just, I love this one. There's plum in here, but the plum comes off as more of a like citrusiness, but I don't know if it's the mix of that with the vanilla and the tonka bean. Either way, it is a creamy, yummy drink of a fragrance. I really do enjoy this one and I love layering this one with a whole bunch of my orangey body mist, but you really don't have to layer it with anything. The longevity is moderate, but I really do enjoy it. And whenever I look at it, it screams summer vibes to me. So couldn't wait to put this one on the tray. Once again, this is Casilli by Parfums Tomorrowly. Next, I'll be adding another fun, tropical, sweet, easy reach. And this is sugarful sunshine and you guys i got this fragrance and after i got it i tucked it away in my closet and completely forgot about it because i've been so caught up in other coconut fragrances in my collection but you guys i saw this one sitting in the back the other day and i was like oh my goodness i don't have any type of dent in this one and this one smells like a beautiful pina colada y'all it's a very realistic pina colada and it's very light and airy. It's not a heavy type of pina colada. So if I just want to grab something, put it on, smell good, maybe I'm running some errands with some girlfriends, going to, you know, get something to eat with some girlfriends. This is the perfect type of fragrance to put on. Maybe if I'm going to the pool or if I'm going to the beach, this is not going to be overwhelming. It's just going to be a fun, sweet, tropical coconut, pineapple, pina colada type of scent. And I really do want to get some use out of this bottle because when I got it, I was very excited to have it in my collection, but I have yet to pull it out. So I made a point to put it on this month's tray and make some memories with it. So once again, this is Sugarful Sunshine. The next fragrance that we'll be adding to the tray is one that I associate with the summer and the summertime only. And this is one by Paco Rabanne and this is Olympia, the original one, y'all. And this is a salty, woody vanilla, you guys. My favorite part of this one is that dry down with the cashmere wood in here. But all throughout the entirety of this, you're getting that salt and that vanilla with, I think, a little bit of mandarin and some ginger. Love wearing this one on date nights in the summer when it's very, very hot. It just dries down very sexy, very grown. Really, really nice. It's a very interesting type of fragrance that I feel like is not very typical and it just comes to life on your skin. So I love wearing this one right now. So once again, this is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. When I first got this next fragrance, you guys, I was so excited about it. I couldn't stop wearing it. It's very bright, very sweet and uh, I just, I love the pomelo in here as well. And this is one by Finery and this is Magnetic Candy. And y'all look, I put this dent in here when I first got it, I think last year, in the beginning of last year. This is a citrusy cotton candy type of fragrance. And I just, uh, I don't know why I haven't broken it out since then, but this is so good, you guys. If you love super sweet fragrances like Oriana Love Don't Be Shy, this one smells very similar to that and it looks like the sun, it looks like the summertime and it makes me really happy to pull it out. So that's why I'm putting it on this tray. And I'm also putting this one on this tray because I wanna pair it with this next fragrance that it's gonna be on this perfume tray. And this is one by Kaali and this is Marrakesh in a Bottle Orange Blossom. So you guys, this fragrance has really, really crept up and grown on me. I pair these two together, it is a beautiful combination oh my goodness the orange blossom in here just compliments and kisses everything in this fragrance you guys if you have these two try them together it is such an intoxicating sexy type of fragrance i really do love these together so that is why i'm putting magnetic candy on the tray along with marrakesh in a bottle tropical fruity and sweet that's pretty much the theme of this entire tray. And this next one fits in perfectly with this whole theme. This is another one from Paco Rabanne and this is Fame, you guys. And when this one first came out, I think it was all the talk and then people just kind of tucked it away and they haven't really talked about it since then. But you guys, I think that with so many other fragrances, especially like Middle Eastern fragrances, our fragrances really do need to sit and just kind of just macerate a little bit the vanilla is a little bit more pronounced now oh y'all i think i might even wear this on like a summer date too because it just smells like you're just having fun and just kissing up under the sun so yeah i'm really happy to put this one on the tray and 
I had a whole lot of combinations that I want to use this one with. So once again, this is Paco Rabanne's Fame. Next, we have a lactonic, creamy, yummy fragrance. And this is one by Mansara. And this is Coco Vanille, you guys. And this is a very literal type of coconut and vanilla fragrance. If you don't want to overcomplicate anything, you want something that's a little soothing to the soul, this is such a good one, you guys. The longevity is amazing. And this one always just kind of gives me a very calming, chill type of vibe. Oh, I haven't worn this one in so long, but the coconut milk in here is so pretty. So really excited to get some use out of this one again this summer. Once again, this is Coco Bunny. When I'm in the mood for something super sweet and citrusy, I'll be pulling for Philosophy's Pure Grace Pop of Sun, you guys. Philosophy has amazing summer scents. If you have never looked into them, I would highly recommend it, you guys. Oh, this one, oh, this one is so good. Oh, it's a little, makes your mouth water a little bit. So this one is like a mix of, I believe like pomelo and I get a whole bunch of tangerine. So I know there's tangerine, but then there's also this apple. Y'all, this is such a just bright, uplifting, citrusy type of fragrance. If you're a citrus lover, you would love this. But then once it dries down, you guys, I love the vanilla that comes out in here. Oh, it's such a burst of happiness and love philosophy fragrances for that very reason. Once again, this one is Pure Grey's Pop of Sun. So this month, I'm going to a few concerts. I have like a jazz festival. I have a reggae festival to go to. And because it's going to be super hot and outdoors, I want another tropical pina colada type of fragrance to put on, but I need it to stick. You know, I need it to last a good few hours. And so this next one, oh, is another one of my favorites for the summertime. So happy to put it on the tray. This is one by Mugler and this is Angel Old Crossier. You guys, I don't know which one is my favorite between this one and Angel Nova, but this one is just oh, such a strong pina colada bomb, you guys. Oh, this is sweet very fruity and it doesn't have that classic Mugler DNA to me but because it does have patchouli in here I think that's what gives it this slightly dirty type of pina colada in the dry down and it gives it amazing longevity. I think you can still get this one on their website and other websites. To me this is one of the best flankers that they've ever come out with and I hope that they never discontinue it unless it is already discontinued. <laughs> but I know that I've seen it on some sites so I'll link it down below for you guys but if you've never checked this one out this is one to not skimp on. Once again this is Angel or Crossier by Mugler. I'm still really loving my citrusy fragrances right now and this one I've been waiting to pull out because I like to wear it when it's really really hot out so this month is perfect for this. This is one by Versace and this is Dylan Turquoise, you guys. And I think this is probably one of the most unisex leaning fragrances on this month's tray. Because it's such a strong citrusy lemon type of fragrance, I think a woman or a man could really pull this one off. And also when I got this fragrance, I really wasn't into lemon, but now all of a sudden this summer, I'm really enjoying citrusy fragrances. So now the lemon in here is really nice, especially combined with the guava. So looking forward to wearing this one to the beach this month. So once again, this is Dylan Turquoise by Versace. Next, I'll be adding another one from Kaali, and this is Eden Sparkling Lychee, you guys. And I think I got this one when it first came out, I think in the winter time. And I used a whole lot of it when I first got it, but I really think this one is gonna shine so much more in this hot weather that we're having. And this one definitely gives me remnants of the original Eden Juicy Apple, but this is a more sparkly, not as fruity take on Eden Juicy Apple. I think you also have some lemon in this one, but yeah, there's lychee, sugar. I think you have some black currant. Yep, you have black currant. There's some sugared violet. This one is really refreshing, bright, girly, a little flirty. Yeah, I do want to get a little bit more of a dent out of this one. So has put it on the tray. Once again, this is Eden Sparkling Lychee by Kaali. And last but not least, I really wanted a cozy kind of snuggly type of fragrance to wear to bed or just, you know, maybe date night in the house on the couch with my husband. So this last one I'll be adding to the tray is one by Dead Cool and this is called Taunt. And honestly, you guys, I could have put a whole lot of cozy fragrances like this one on this month's tray, but I'm trying to hold out because I know as soon as I dive into fragrances like this, 
there's no turning back for me. But you guys, this is very calming. I think there's some watery notes in here. There's some orris root. Honestly, this one just smells like a very chill type of fragrance that is a little woody, a little vanillic, oh, and very warm. Oh, it's so warm, you guys. It's so good. It smells like a hug in a bottle, you guys. Love those type of fragrances. So with this one, this one is kind of like me dipping my toe into fall fragrances. So once again, this is Dead Cool's Time. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are all the fragrances that will be on my monthly tray for August. Comment down below, let me know, are you guys gonna be wearing any of these same fragrances? And if not, what fragrances are you guys planning on wearing this month? Let's talk about it. If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.